Hello everyone and welcome back to Politics Now, where we talk about modern politics and modern America. And today, I'm going to be talking about the political shift that is currently going on in Nevada, which is now a swing state, but used to be a pretty easy blue state. It was still contested, but now it's become a swing state, and it I believe that is moving farther and farther to the right, and yeah, yeah, the whole state is shifting towards the right, and I can totally see it becoming a safer and safer red state, so let's get into that. So, the 2020 election was a very Democrat, Democrat swing year. A lot of counties that wouldn't have voted Democrat if it wasn't a Democrat wave year, they did vote Democrat, but still, Nevada, a ton of these counties, in fact, most of them, moved a couple points to the right, and a lot of them, yeah, they're the deep, the deep Republican districts, but even something like Lincoln County and Clark County, Clark County is not a very Republican district, yet in a Democrat wave year, in a blue wave year, it still moved 1.4 points to the right compared to 2016, and if it continues with that trend, especially since this was a blue wave year, you wouldn't expect a lot of these states to move to the right if they're a swing state that Joe Biden won. So that's kind of an issue if you're trying to win the state when the state is moving away in a supposed wave year for your party. And a lot of these districts are moving more and more to the right. And honestly, they're... A couple of them are important districts that you need to win to win Nevada, and you can't lose Clark County because that's where Vegas is and that's where the majority of the population is. And yeah, Democrat Democrats they can keep Carson City, but it's still very Republicans. And all of these states that moved a little bit to the left. Considering how it was a blue wave year, that's really nothing special. And there's still extremely heavy red state areas. I think Reno might be a little bit blue, but it honestly isn't really that that blue. They really only have Clark County left to be a safe bet for more Democrat voters. Because Reno is also moving to the right, and you need Vegas to stay blue. But that isn't happening at all. That's kind of why up here in North Carolina, there's a lot of Democratic shifts in the North, even though the North is a traditionally more Republican space. And that's because Republicans that live there, they don't, they're trying to move out of California. And so they went here and they still are because it's the closest state by and it's pretty similar. And they're moving to places like Clark County and especially Reno and look at that it's going more and more red and all, all these counties here are moving more and more red and if that continues it's going to be a pretty hard fight to make it blue again and it's just going to keep with this trend because it's kind of sad to lose a lot of these counties when you're in a blue wave year if you're try if it's moving to the right because then it's going to become harder and harder to get and i can totally see 2028 2032 it's going to be a lot harder to get nevada for democrats because it's been moving so far to the right and if you can even flip a lot of these states in 2020 where a lot of them are moving more and more republican then you're just not going to actually get the state because in a red wave year say 2024 is a red wave year i could totally see a ton of these counties these this area which moved a little bit democrat in 2020 i can totally see them going a few points republican carson yeah clark county probably will go more republican it will maybe like five points more and then all of these deep red counties, I can definitely see them maybe staying where they are because you can't really get more Republican. Honestly, it's places like where there's 4,000 people 
how much Repub more Republican can you get? It's not really going to change anything, but if the trend keeps continuing in these bigger areas, then, yeah, it's not going to end up that well. And probably the greatest thing and it, the greatest example of this is the people identifying themselves as, as Republican and Democrat. So this is the most recent statistic that has been released out of Nevada, and it's the political affili affiliation of people in Nevada. We have around 550,000 people identifying as Republican, and then 600,000 identifying as Democrat. That is very close. Those are not margins you want to be dealing with, especially when these third-party candidates and nonpartisan have a ton of votes that could go to the Republican camp. Libertarian, that would probably mostly go towards Republican. Independent American Party, that would probably go Republican. Nonpartisan, even if you break these 50-50 and the others 50-50, that's still a majority Republican vote, which is not going to work out that well. And comparing this to 2017, this exact month, about five years, no, six years ago now, feels so long. I can't believe 2017 is six years ago, but time flies by. You have this where Democrats have around the same margin, but a little bit lower. And then Republicans, they have way lower than before. Nonpartisan is a little bit low, is a little bit lower, but still a sizable amount. But in terms of the percent of the Nevada, Nevada political parties, Democrats have a way bigger lead than they do now, because there's just been so much more Republican voters. Republicans have gone from around 480 and gained about a hundred thousand votes, while Democrats have only gone up about thirty thousand, and if you continue with that lead, then you're just not going to win the state anymore, especially since independent American, they might bro broker for Republicans, they might not. Libertarian, they'll probably broker for Republicans more. But if you have all of these third-party candidates, which will more likely than not vote Republican more often than Democrat, and the Republicans are gaining more and more votes while the third parties are maintaining their sort sort of tens of thousands of votes, then that's not gonna work out too well. Then you're basic then you're basically if they have the option to where they vote Democrat or Republican, they're definitely gonna vote Republican rather than Democrat. And yeah, it's just not looking too hot. A lot of these nonpartisans yeah, they might, yeah, it would probably be a 50-50 split for a nonpartisan, but that's still very close and you don't want to be dealing with statistics like that when your state on average is moving farther and farther to the right. You can't be playing dead even when your state is moving about 5 points to the right since 2016 in a blue wave year. It's just not going to work out. So, yeah, Nevada is probably going to become a redder and redder state. I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes a pretty safe red state, maybe like a likely red state. Probably more like North Carolina or something like Ohio eventually, maybe. It just it's just how it works out. Maybe it goes back to blue. Maybe it follows the Virginia thing where it votes red sometimes or but it's mostly a blue state. It could just do some weird stuff like that, but honestly, my prediction is that it becomes a redder and redder state, and it eventually just becomes a red state, and and Democrats just completely lose the state forever, kind of like you know Georgia, Georgia probably, Colorado, yeah, Republicans just losing any chance at Colorado, probably gonna lose any chance of getting Georgia again. And maybe Virginia, I don't know. We're just going to have to check the trends, but it's moving farther and farther to the right. So, yeah, it's kind of doing the Nevada thing, but Nevada is way further along. along so, yeah, the, Nevada is up for grabs in 2024, but 
you best believe it is going to be coming more and more safe for Republicans to gain. And that's just another couple votes for the electrical, Electoral College. And if you're trying to become president, that's not something you want to hear when a pretty easy blue state becomes a pretty easy red state in the matter of six years. That's not going to work out very well. So, yeah, what do you think? Do you think Nevada will go red? I honestly probably think it will. If you don't think that it will, leave it in the comments below and tell me why I'm wrong. Bye.